Hi, uh, my name is William and I'm an embedded project engineer at Bloomy Controls. Uh, Bloomy Controls is a Platinum Alliance partner of NI and we are designated as an electronics design specialist house. Today what I'm going to demonstrate is uh, one of the reasons we have the electronic design specialty and that is a customized C-series module uh, specifically designed around NI's most recent version of the module development kit and designed for the compact Rio and the single board Rio chassis. Uh, now, the card that we specifically designed is for uh, a specialized bus communication. That's uh, MIL standard 1553. Uh, this is a communication bus that is used heavily in military and aerospace industries and allows aircraft subsystems to communicate with each other and uh, share data within the subsystem. Our module can simulate any of the subsystems, whether it's a bus controller, a bus monitor, or even a remote terminal. In this particular example, what we have is one of our cards simulating a bus controller, which is the master controller within the network. And on the other side, we have a remote terminal simulation that uh, simply replies to commands issued by the bus controller and uh, relays data back to the bus controller for, uh, for storage and data logging. So in this case, let's say uh, our, our bus controller issues a command to turn on uh, the hazard lights over on the other side. Uh, it will issue a command and the remote con terminal will actually uh, respond to it. Same thing will happen with the wing flaps. If we change the wing flaps, a remote terminal will will change and uh, issue the proper commands within its subsystem. And lastly, uh, the landing gear, for example, is our third example. If we tell it to retract, it will actually pull, uh, pull a mechatronic mechanism and, uh, and perform its issued functions. Uh, lastly, we've also got uh, continuous uh, data updates being uh, issued to the remote terminal. The remote terminal is providing us with continuous information uh, that is being sent back to the bus controller where it's being logged and stored for future monitoring and analysis.